I want to welcome you to this episode of the Retro Rogues Live. Please take note of our graphic, our fancy one graphic. It tells you that the Retro Rogues Live show is intended for an adult audience and not intended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Advised. Uh, you know, we sometimes say we may curse or drink an adult beverage to reinforce this concept. We normally do not do either. However, we just want to make sure that everyone knows this is not a show for children. Anyhow, I want to walk you to the show. My name is Dave Beatty, and I am one of your hosts for nearly the last 30 years. I've been a professional illustrator and graphic designer, worked on a lot of fun things some people have heard of. Let's see. Uh, let's find some different things to talk about. Worked on a lot of fun sketch card gigs for things like Vampirella, Lady Death, uh, Batman the Legend, Superman the Legend, um, a lot of Marvel projects. And I think that's good. Enough about that. Anyhow, um, I want to welcome back also my co-host. This is Mr. Eric Alexander. Uh, Eric, please tell the folks, hopefully watching or listening at home, some of the fun things that you have done as a creative professional. Hello, everyone. Yes, I am Eric Alexander, also known as Base God 14, Base God 14. That's not Bass God. That's Base God doesn't like bass guitar. So I am Base God 14. I am the chief financial officer of Bad Bob Productions, which is a small production company uh, based in Arizona. And I am also the associate producer of the feature film Occupants, which features Star Trek Voyager actor Robert Picardo and is currently streaming for free on Tubi. Awesome. Very cool. Um, so um, we are going to hopefully have a special guest tonight. We are having or experiencing a few technical difficulties. So as always, bear with me if you see me looking off camera doing something frantic. I'm probably trying to check something or try to correspond with someone to figure out what's wrong. And I am still kind of fighting a little bit of a cold, so I will still be co popping cough drops. My apologies in advance for that. All right, so we're going to start off things a little bit different this episode. We're actually going to start off this episode by actually talking about Picard, uh, the fourth episode of Picard. Um, I don't have a graphic, a little fancy graphic actually prepared for it, other than we'll use our main uh, feature one graphic here. Eric will show the screen. So we're going to start off talking about uh, the latest episode of Star Trek Picard. Um, this is episode four. Um, so uh, tell me, Eric, uh, how did you feel about the episode Absolute Candor? And please feel free to display Absolute Candor. <laughs> well, <laughs> what can I say? Um, we try to start out a little bit uh, uh, spoiler free. So, you know, with general impressions. So if any of you out there that are viewing this haven't seen the episode and don't want to be spoiled, uh, we'll give you some general impressions uh, first before we get into sort of the deep dive of the episode. So my overall impression uh, is that it's, it's, it's probably about the same level as episode three for me. Um, for me right now, the low point is episode two. I, I really hated that episode. Uh, but this episode, I think, was was more on par with ep episode three. Um, there were some things uh, I really didn't like. Uh, I'm I'm liking Raffi less and less. Like every time I see her, uh, I just don't like kind of her tone and the way, just kind of just her her attitude towards uh, Picard. Uh, it seems very dismissive, uh, which seems to be the general attitude of the characters towards Picard in general. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's it's weird to me because there seems to be this kind of Picard hate fest going on uh, in the world of uh, Star Trek Picard. Uh, mm. Everybody seems to have a problem with them. Uh, sometimes for reasons that don't make any sense, they have a problem with them. Uh, it, it, it's it's um, for me as, as a hardcore Trekkie. Um, it, it's very. I don't know. It, it, it's very off putting to me. Uh, that, that that they keep treating him like garbage, uh, right. and, and Rafi in particular. E even after they kind of come to some sort of obvious meeting of the mind, she's on the mission. Uh, she still kind of treats him like he's like a senile old man, which I guess he will be. I mean, we know he has he has some sort of senility dementia problem that he's going to be experiencing. We know that from all good things, and we know that from the series itself, where he met with his doctor from. Um, in a previous Stargazer. episode, he met with his doctor from the Stargazer, um, and and they reinforced that concept, which I which I also thought was kind of weird because it's like we all know that already. But I mean, 
Okay. You know, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, I, I don't, th I didn't hate this episode. I'll say that I didn't hate this episode. Um, I, I wasn't, you know, thrilled with, with, again, with a lot of the, the interaction of the characters with Picard, uh, like I said, Picard just seems to be hated by everybody in the universe at this point. Um, but as far as the story goes, you know, it, it, it was, it was okay. You know, uh, we got, uh, two new characters, uh, in this, in this, uh, well, one's an old character and we got a, a new character, uh, in this, um, and, and I have some interest in, in both of them. Um, I'm not totally like, I, I I'm not like, a, I don't care. I mean, I'm interested. Um, they introduced some elements in this one that, that are kind of, uh, that could be fascinating. You know, we can talk about them a little bit more in the deep dive, but, uh, my overall impression is I, I'm, I didn't hate it, but I, I didn't, the, the attitude towards Picard is very off-putting to me as a, as a hardcore fan. Uh, I have a problem with that. Um, well, my feelings um, about the episode was it was okay. Um, I um, I'm going to say something a, a a bit maybe potentially like um, uh, something that other people would agree with. Put it that way. Um, maybe a little bit questionable lapse in judge judgment. There's a few episodes of Star Trek Discovery, and honestly, I, I liked better than some of these episodes of Picard. Um. You know, this episode was fine. Um, I I enjoyed seeing the old school Romulan. Uh, oh, we're avoiding spoilers. Um, uh, just overall impression. Um, it was fine. That's that's going to be my entire takeaway from this particular episode. <laughs> I liked it better. I liked it better than the sep the second episode. I would agree with you. The second episode for me is also the lowest point in the show. I did not like the second episode. Um, I like some of the dynamic between some of the characters, the scientist doctor character, um, the the artificial life expert, the synth expert lady. Like I kind of like her. She's kind of fun and interesting. I like the I captain. Th of the I, th ship I think still. it's fair. I think it's fair to say with her though, um, whether you like it or not, uh, she's kind of like the comic relief of the team. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely is. Um, and uh, I like the the captain's uh, – uh, well, I like every – there's a lot of things going on with the captain that I like. I like the, the captain of the ship. I can't remember the name of the ship half the time. This is another episode that I watched once, and I, I just didn't want to watch it again. Um, yeah, uh, you're just, talking about Rios, right? The captain is Rios? Yeah, yeah, Rios. Pilot. I like Rios. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with Rios, and I do kind of – I am kind of fascinated by the what he's done with his uh, – with his emergency holograms and the fact that they're yes. all him. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I, I really like that and, and how they're very different. So the show has some things that I, I am enjoying um, and some things like I didn't, I did not dislike uh, one of the newer characters that was introduced in this episode. Um, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it, but when I saw what they were doing about it, again, we're avoiding, uh, avoiding spoilers. Um, I kind of liked some of that. It, it, but in terms of the episode as a whole, um, it's still better than the second episode. I, I don't think it's better than the first episode. Um, I think I might have liked this one maybe a little bit better than the, the third episode. So I'd have to say besides the first episode, this is probably my favorite. But it, it, I don't know. It, it The show for me is not bad. It's interesting. Um but I, I do agree with you. I am finding some of the attitude towards Picard to be very, very off-putting. And um, it's hard for me to understand why, you know, everyone who knows who Picard is apparently has an issue with him. It's getting kind of old. You know what I mean? Like, um, even that's my biggest, can, that's my biggest. Yeah, gripe. I just, I, I, I'm kind of getting sick of it. Yeah. This whole, the Federation sucks is, you know, I enjoy the show when they're not picking on the Federation. <laughs> and unfortunately, they pick on the Federation a lot. They find yes. a lot of time to take the Federation out of the shed and hit it with a stick and then push it back into the shed. So um, I would like for them to be done with that. So that that's my official review. It was okay. I liked it. I, I still don't think any of them is as good as the first. I like the first episode probably the best. 
I feel like I'm missing like the visions of Brent Spiner. <laughs> Yeah, no, I agree I with wish you. We like, get more visions of Brent Spiner. So like, yeah, you yeah, know, why not? Um, why not? Yeah. So that's um, that's kind of that's kind of my thing. Yeah, it, it's kind of like you know, yeah, I agree with you in terms of ranking of the, the the episodes. I do think episode one is the best episode so far. It's the best episode I've seen. Uh, that that first scene is my favorite scene so far in Picard. Uh, the the scene of of Data and Picard sitting together. Uh, playing cards on the Enterprise D. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really enjoyed that. And uh, even though there were some issues I had with the episode, so far, it's really my favorite episode of Star Trek Picard. Uh, so I would agree with you in terms of kind of ranking the episodes. Uh, one, one is the best so far. Uh, two is really the low point of the series so far. And, uh, you know, four is better than, than two, at least. <laughs> Yeah, I would have to say, um, yeah, like I said, for me, I, I liked, um, I liked this one probably about the best. Um, I enjoyed the action that was in it, but again, we're trying to avoid spoilers. So I can't talk too much more about it because I'm already fighting the urge to kind of spoil something as it, as it currently sits. 